What are the pros and cons of eating white bread Vs? Whole wheat bread. Let's start off with a brief and crusty introduction to our contenders. White bread is often the soft, fluffy staple in many households, a canvas for peanut butter and jelly. Whole wheat bread, on the other hand, is the heartier, denser cousin with a bit more of an earthy appeal. Pros of white bread. Taste. Many prefer the mild, sweet taste of white bread to the nuttier tones of whole wheat. Texture. It's often softer and more pliable, making it the go-to for a classic sandwich. Fortification. In many countries, white bread is fortified with essential nutrients like folic acid, iron, and some B vitamins. Cons of white bread. Nutritional value. It's generally lower in fiber, vitamins, and minerals compared to whole wheat because the outer bran and germ are removed during processing. Blood sugar spike. White bread has a higher glycemic index, which means it can spike your blood sugar levels faster than whole wheat. Satiety. It may not keep you feeling full as long, thanks to the lower fiber content. Pros of whole wheat bread. Nutrition. It's packed with more fiber, protein, and a medley of vitamins and minerals due to the inclusion of the entire grain. Health benefits. That extra fiber isn't just for show. It can help with digestion, lower bad cholesterol levels, and promote a healthier heart. Satiety. Keeps you fuller longer, which can help with weight management. Cons of whole wheat bread. Taste and texture. Some folks just don't groove with the denser texture and more pronounced flavor of whole wheat bread. Gluten content. For those with sensitivities, whole wheat naturally contains more gluten than white bread. Cost. Whole wheat bread often comes with a higher price tag compared to the white variety. When you live in a green city like Portland, Oregon, there's kind of an unspoken rule that you should lean more towards the whole grain side of life. Something about the rain, the coffee, and the endless rows of bicycles just screams, eat more fiber. Jokes aside, whether you're packing a sandwich for a hike in the Columbia River Gorge or just toasting up some breakfast before the daily grind, consider what your body needs. If you're looking for that slow-burning energy and an edge on your nutritional intake, whole wheat's your got-to at loaf. However, if you're in need of a soft, classic PB&J and your body isn't offended by a little less fiber, white bread can still have a place at the table, just maybe not the head seat. Ultimately, the story here is balance. If you can find a middle ground where you indulge in the wonder that is white bread occasionally and still get your whole wheat fix, you're probably on the right track to a well-rounded diet. Remember, moderation is your friend. And hey, a walk down to the local Portland bakery now and then for a fresh loaf, be it white or wheat, is a great way to get in touch with the community and your personal health goals.